You can never make me feel envy When I know deep down you feel empty That's why you overcompensating Your moves don't match what you be saying I wanna stay but you be playing How many times I gotta say this Welcome back to my channel, Janique TV. My name is Janique, and I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in today. We have a very special episode. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, go ahead and lock into my channel by clicking on that subscribe button, and also by clicking on that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode of anything that it is that I'm doing here. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate your view so much. Today, we're actually going to be having a memorial service. We're going to be laying our past to rest today. So go ahead and get your black on. Go ahead and get your best funeral attire you got. Go ahead and get your uh, obituaries. <laughs> okay. Whew. Um, if you got something that you want to say, some, some final words. Uh, to our dearly departed, you know what I'm saying? You go ahead and get those so ready. We're gonna go ahead and get into today's topic because we gotta have this funeral today. If you are interested in seeing this memorial service, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. Let's go ahead and get started. Dearly beloved. <laughs> no, y'all for real. Today we are laying our past to rest. We are done 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 trying to resuscitate dead situations yashua once said let the dead bury the dead meaning stop putting your energy into dead people and put your energy into the living it'll be more prosperous for you i promise you so i think it's important to recognize first off when a situation actually has no life left when you can't provide life to a situation anymore i want you to recognize that so when y'all are consistently arguing with people about the same thing, when you are constantly talking to somebody about the same thing, reminding them of something, they call it nagging. But when you're constantly bringing up an issue and this person has not done anything or made any changes to resolve this issue for you, what are you going to do? Settle or are you going to leave the situation so you no longer have to deal with whatever's going on? How many of us miss out on what the future has for us because we're so busy holding on to our past? How many years are you going to give these dead in relationships? How much more time? You don't even know how much more time you have left, but you're, consider but you're consistently breathing life into these other people. Save the life for yourself. Put your energy into what's living. What's living right now? The word of God, that's living right now. That's what you should be putting your energy into. Now, I myself have been a victim of allowing the past to hold me back, hold me down. And let me go ahead and take this off because <laughs> I'm giving away right now. But I myself am guilty of this. I had a relationship, a long-standing relationship that I was trying to breathe so much life into, especially when you do it for the kids or you act like you are, but... I had to realize my happiness was more important than trying to provide something for my child that my child didn't even ask for. My child did not ask for a family. My child didn't ask for both parents to be under one roof. Like my child didn't ask for these things. These are things we have conditioned ourselves to believe that's what a child needs and wants to be successful in life. And that's just not, that's not true. Now I bet you're asking yourself, how do you lay an old situation to rest? First of all, you end it with the person. Stop allowing people to keep you on their roster for years at a time. Like, like why people think they could keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back and not doing anything with the chances that you've given them? Because you've allowed them to. So that's the first thing you have to do. Cut these people off. Have a conversation. My favorite thing to tell people is, you know what? I have done some thinking and I will not be moving forward with you romantically. So I don't really see any reason for us to continue communication. So I would appreciate it if you did not reach out to me again. And I hope you enjoy your day and I pray for your healing. Okay, that's my favorite thing to go ahead and let a, let a person know just to be clear about where I draw the line. So there's no confusion. So you don't have to reach out to me in a week, in two weeks to check on me, in a month to check on me, in six months to check on me, next year to check on me, on Instagram to check on me, on Facebook to check on me, snapping me. Like, so you don't have to check on me. So I don't have to have this notion or so you don't have the notion that 
we're going to ever, ever, ever resuscitate this dead situation between us. So once you get a text like that from me, you know it's over. <laughs> I don't even play. Because I just want to be clear. I think it's so important in life to be honest, open, truthful. To really let people know what it is. Because when you don't let people know what it is, you leave it up to their imagination. And that could kind of totter on the line of manipulation. And manipulation is witchcraft. And we don't want to be no witches out here. Period. So when I say lay your past to rest, you have to cut off these people. After you cut them off, go ahead and take the extra measures that you need to take to make sure you don't run back to a dead situation. Okay, so delete the person off social media. People always say they want their exes to see them. And I used to be just like that. But I'm starting to realize that silence speaks volumes for me. Like, I'd rather disappear. I love that. I actually, I've been, I've been kind of rocking like this. But I really love the fact that I don't have to post on social media for weeks at a time. Like, I don't got to do that. I'm not obligated or a slave or I haven't sold my soul to social media. So I can take as much time as I... So I could take as much time off as I need to. Right now, I just finished up a social media break. Uh, today was my first day posting. I'm probably going to post this video here in March. But um, today is February the 28th, I think, 27th. February 27th. So we got one more day left in the month. And then I'll be um, more active on social media in March. But I had to take a break, a, a breather, because there's so many people that you have a past with that have access to you online that think it's okay to hit you up after what they did to you. Absolutely not. And let's be clear. Forgiving somebody doesn't mean that you have to continue a relationship with them. My forgiveness doesn't mean that I got to talk to you. That's not a part of forgiveness. Like, I don't got to hug you. I don't got to comment back to you. I don't got to talk to you because at the end of the day, whatever you did... It made the situation die quickly. You understand? It ended whatever it was between us. So why should we continue communication? Y'all be dragging people along with y'all for y'all whole lives. Like, I've been talking to this guy off and on for this long. Like, yo, and he ain't made it official yet? Something going on, something wrong. You understand? So take another measure. Take extra precaution when you cut these people off. Don't just send that goodbye text. And please, when you send that goodbye text, don't keep responding back to the person because when you feed their energy, when you give them your energy, when you show them any attention at all, even a simple response or liking the message or anything like that, you're giving them an idea that there's still hope. Whereas if you say what you got to say, if they respond back, just let it go. I said what I have to say. I have nothing else to say to you. Our situation is dead. RIP to it. You understand? So, um... Also, and this is something I got to work on, delete old videos. Like, I think there's a part of me that is like, what if this person dies tomorrow and I don't have the videos of them or whatever like that? But I realized I'm not the type of person to get on social media writing a post like, oh, no, you're gone too soon. Like, and post like a collage of, of moments with us for attention and all kind of stuff so people can be like, I'm sorry for your loss in the comments. And they messaging you and even changing the, 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 your profile picture to the person's picture. It's like, God said, God said, let the dead bury the dead. Put your energy into living things as opposed to dead things. When people go here on earth, it's their time to go. Unfortunately, we cannot hold on to people for our whole lives. That's why I'm telling you to go ahead and release your past right now because there's something better for you in the future. How can you get what you do want if you keep on holding on to what you don't want? These people don't get it right. Let them go. How else are they going to learn to get it right? They're not going to learn to get it right as long as you're in, you're in their face having sex with them, talking to them 24-7, showing them love and affection, buying them gifts. Spending your time and energy on them, posting them on social media. How are they going to ever get it right when you have not taken anything away from them? Men or just your relationships in general. They're like jobs first off, right? If you do not perform at your job, what happens? You lose your position, period, point blank. And then guess what? Your position, your position <laughs> opens up. <laughs> and once your position opens up, I'm taking applications. You feel what I'm saying? So you cannot take applications as long as the position is still foot, as long as the position is still filled. Like, how are you gonna take applications? How are you gonna do interviews? You understand? Like, no, fire that person now. I don't look for another relationship while you're in a relationship. That's one thing our society needs to learn. Stop jumping 
from one bed to another. You understand? Like, take some time to yourself. Take some time to get to know yourself. That way you won't pick the wrong partner in the future. Ooh, I said a mouthful today. Let your past go. Lay your past to rest. RIP to these old relationships that don't serve the person that we want to be. These people are holding you back because they don't want to grow. If you let them go, guess what? They're going to have to be forced to look at themselves or choose not to look at themselves and go find another relationship where they can hide who they really are. You understand? Like, especially these relationships where y'all be with people since y'all was kids. That's a blessing, first of all, to be able to find somebody so young as long as the relationship is healthy. But when you have these toxic connections for 10 plus years, even, even, and I gave, I gave my son's dad, I think six years. So, I mean, even six years when I was in it, it didn't feel like a long time, but when I'm out of it, I'm like, dang, I gave that man six years. Who, who I was tripping. Now I've gotten, my discernment is so tuned in right now. I'm so tuned in with God. I'm so right now. I'm so locked in with God. Like, I can weed a person out in a day or two. You understand? Because it's just about their mannerisms, how they act, how they talk. Are they a person of them work? Are they a person of their word? Because, you know, people like to forgive people for little lies and stuff like that. I'm not one of those people. If you are lying, if you're inconsistent, if you are doing any of these things that I do not think is acceptable for the person that I am, because I'm, I would not treat you like that. I'm letting them go. I'm not going to hold on to things that I don't want for the sake of saying I have somebody when I have myself. And even when you think you're alone, you're not really alone. You have God with you every step of the way. You feel lonely, talk to God. Start talking out immediately. Speak out to God immediately. Call on him. Call on him. I promise he will answer your prayers. And you know what God says is when you pray, having your mind is already done. It's already done. So when you ask God for peace, guess what? Peace immediately should rest all over you. You ask God for the, uh, for the, you, you tell God that you're feeling lonely, immediately he's going to let you know, re reassure you that, that he's there with you, that he is present, okay? Immediately, immediately, you have to lean on the Lord, okay? So hopefully I have convinced you to let go of the negative, lasting attachments that you have had in your life for way too long. If God has called you to cut somebody off and you were looking for a confirmation, this is it. How many times are you going to let a person play in your face? How many times are you going to let, allow a person to, to sit right here and not fulfill their end of the bargain? You're not asking for too much. You may just be asking the wrong person. So get it together ASAP. The world is yours. I need, to, I need you to understand like anything you put your mind to, you can have. Anything you put your mind to can happen for you. It's just a matter of time meeting I want to say time meeting action. You understand? Because if you want a husband, if you want somebody that's going to be there for you, somebody who's going to have your back, support you, provide for you, all these things. Say you run into a man who has all these qualities, who is going to do everything for you that you could ever imagine. And you still are holding on to this negative attachment. You still have this relationship that you've been holding on to for years that you knew should have been long gone. How are you going to even entertain the new person? You are not free and available. You understand? So y'all vibration won't even be on the same level because they're single and you're not. You understand what I'm saying? You can only fake with a person for so long before they find out who you really are. But why don't you really be who you really are instead of pretending to be? Be yourself. And if you can't do it with the person you with, let them go. I'm telling you, God is so real. He comes to separate household divide households let you know for sure like you and that person that you're with may not be equally yoked and it's time to let them go if it's meant to be you guys will come back together but how can you grow in a place that made you dead let the dead bury themselves okay i hope you enjoy our memorial service today if you did make sure you go ahead and like the video make sure you check out some of my other messages i'm praying for you for real because this is a spiritual battle at the end of the day. These people that are holding on to you when they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing to maintain their position in your life, to maintain the job that you provided to them. Um, these people know that, that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. These people are aware that they're not doing their part. These people are aware that you deserve better. They'll never tell you that because they know if they tell you that, you're going to be thinking like, dang, if they say it, then I got I to gotta be 
I gotta deserve better. No, these people will never tell you to your face that you're too good for them. No, they're gonna hold on to you and convince you that you're on the level when you're way above them. When your potential is gonna surpass whatever they got going on. When they don't even really want to do the work that it takes to be who you see yourself as, to be the partner that you see yourself with in the long run. Love is about sacrifice, compromise, legacy that's what it's ultimately about stop reproducing with these people who shouldn't even have children they don't even deserve no children because they don't they don't have it together you understand so i hope i really got through to you today though i'm not gonna end it again i already i already said my little ending but i'll see you in the next video janique here janique tv peace